This video will review the concept of factoring polynomials. What does it mean? This means breaking down a polynomial expression into simpler factors, where when the goal is to simplify the polynomial or to find a solution. We'll cover two primary methods, finding a common factor and factoring quadratics. Let's see an example. What does it mean to, to factor a polynomial? This is a polynomial. And this is a factored polynomial. You see there is the this term 2x, which is a common factor, and it was factored out of the polynomial. A more complex example is this polynomial, which is quite complex, and it has a factor which is quite complex as well. We will learn how to do that. Another example, the polynomial x squared plus 25x plus 100 can be factored to two binomials x plus 20 times x plus 5. This method is called factoring quadratics and it will be covered on the next video. This time we're going to focus on finding a common factor. So this is the method one. This is the standard method of finding a common factor to a polynomial. What is the order of operations here? So first, we need to determine the greatest common factor of all the terms in the polynomial. So here we see, for example, that there is a common x. This is called a common factor. We'll review it soon. Second step is to express, uh, to express each term as a product of the greatest common factor and another factor. And the third step is to util utilize the distributive property to factor out the greatest common factor. Let's see how this is done. So we're taking the same polynomial as presented just before, and we're going to the first step, which is determining the greatest common factor. What is it? So we have one common factor, which is x. All the terms have x, 4x uh, to the power of 4 plus 2x to the power of 3 plus 16x squared plus 15x. All the terms has have x. The second common factor is 2. All the terms can be divided by 2, therefore it is a common factor. So what happens when we pull 2x out of each of the terms? This goes to the second step in the order of operations, which is expression each, each term as a product of the greatest common factor. So 4x to the power of 4 becomes 2x times x to the power of 3. 2x to the power of 3 becomes 2x times x squared. 16x squared becomes 2x times 8x. And 15x becomes 2x times 25. Then we can take this common factor and utilize the distributive property in order to pull it outside of the polynomial and we get a common factor which is 2x which multiplies each of the terms within the parentheses so this is a simplified version of the polynomial above let's look at a more complex example we have this uh, rather intimidating polynomial but we can use exactly the same method and the results will come. So we can, uh, let's add uh, some uh, multiplication marks just to, to simplify the polynomial. So what we see here is y squared times x to the power of 4 divided by 2 plus y to the power of 3 times x divided by 4 plus y to the power of 7 times x squared divided by 12. What are the common factors? This is the first step of what we need to achieve. So looking at the factors, what is the first one? It is half. How come? Because each of the terms is divided by an even number, which means it can be a multiple of half. The second factor is y squared, because we look, we count how many y's are multiplied, right? y squared is actually y times y. So there are two y's over here. There are three y's in the second one and there is set there are seven y's in the third one so we can pull out at least y squared right we'll see what it does in a, in a minute 
The third factor is the same thing only regarding x. The middle term has a single x. It means that we can pull it out and because the other two terms also have at least one x. This means that the overall greatest common factor is y squared times x divided by 2 because all of these three factors are found within each of the terms inside within the polynomial. Now if we express each term as a product of this factor this is what happens. Let's do it one by one. The first uh, term y squared times x to the power of 4 divided by 2 so we pull out the 2 this means that we only left with 1 and it can be scratched out. We pull out the y squared again, only left with 1, it can be scratched out. We pull out an x and we're left with x to the power of 3, because x times x to the power of 3 is x to the power of 4. Moving on to the second factor. The same factor that we pulled out is y squared times x divided by 2. Here we're only left with y divided by 2. How come? Because x has deleted the x above. 2 is 4 divided by 2 equals 2. And y to the power of 3 divided by y to the power of 2 is y. So when we pull out this factor, we're only left with y divided by 2. The third one. If we pull y squared from y to the power of 7 we get y to the power of 5. If we pull out x from x squared we're left with a single x and if we divide 12 by 2 we're left with 6. So accumulating that if we take out this common factor we're left with this simplified version of the polynomial x to the power of 3 plus y divided by 2 plus y, divided, y to the power of 5 times x divided by 6. It's a much more simplified version and uh, it is easier to solve it if you really need to solve it. The second method is factoring quadratics and we will cover it on the next video. Thanks.